A PHP session keeps track of a connection instance between a particular client and a server. The session is created, processed, and accessed on the server rather than on the client, and therefore does not suffer from the client-side storage issues of cookies. In this way, session data can neither be blocked by antivirus utilities nor deleted by the user. This process, useful for maintaining state, is cumulatively referred to as session tracking in PHP. PHP session array contains all the variables that have been set for a particular session. These session variables may be accessed directly from the array. For example, if you take a look at the following block of code, it's an if-else decision structure. Well, in the if portion, we're calling isset to see whether or not the session variable client name has been set up. If so, we'll display the value stored in client name. And if not, we'll simply display client name has not been set. PHP's session start method when first called on a connection creates a session ID for that particular client server interaction. Once a session ID has been created, calling session start again will return the session array allowing access to any session variables for that connection instance. Like cookies in the cookies array, session variables are stored as key value pairs in the session array. Take a look at the following example. We're using session start to create a session ID. Once the session ID is created, it can be used to track and interact with the client and the server. So, after we create the session ID with session start, we have the decision structure, and in this decision structure, in the if portion, we're using is set to see whether or not page loaded has been defined in the session array. If it has been defined, we're going to post fix increment it, and then we're going to display how many times we've loaded the page. If it has not been defined, this means it's the first time the client's loading the page. Therefore, it's going to initialize it to be 1, and it will say so. Here's just another example using session variables. Again, we're going to generate a session ID by calling session start. Once we do that, we can then make use of the session array and session variables. The first time when we load the page, um, you know, these values will be null. Uh, page loaded hasn't been created yet. There's no value there. So basically what will happen the first time is not the if block, but the else block after the set method is called, in which case we'll say first time loading page, page loading being initialized to one, and we will, we'll initialize, we'll you know, create a session variable called page loaded. It'll be stored as an element in the session array, and we'll assign to it the value of one. Now, the next time we load the page, page loaded will exist, and it will have a value. So is set will return true, and therefore the if block will execute the second time we load the page. And we're just going to post fix increment the session variable, so we'll count how many times we load the page, and we're going to display the value of page loaded to see how many times we've loaded the page. So let's pass it through the interpreter and we'll see how it works. First time loading page, page loaded being initialized to one, right? So that happens the first time. Now watch what happens when I click refresh. Page loaded two times, three, and I'll do it really fast here so you can see, you know, 20, 30, and so forth, whatever. So that kind of lets you see how uh, you know session variables work, the syntax, the structure, what you can do with them. In this example, we're taking a look at PHP sessions. Now, in order to begin a PHP session and to be able to use session variables, we have to generate a session ID. And we do that with the session start method. A session ID is a unique identifier that can be used to differentiate our connection, that is our client with the server, uh, among dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of other client connections that may all simultaneously be connected to the server. So each one of those would require its own set of variables that were you know, unique to that client. And it, that is done with a session ID, and that session ID is generated when we call session start. So once we do that, we can then begin using the session array and session variables. Uh, and we can create variables and store values in the session array, and we can retrieve them. So notice in the code here, I'm using the isset method returns boolean true. If the object's not null, if it has a value in false, uh, if it does not have a value and it is null. So the very first time we run this, you know, isset's going to return false because this is null. It doesn't exist. It has not yet been created. So instead of the if block running, the else block is going to be executed. And in our session array, where we store session variables, we have an element. In this case, our, our new session variable will be called client name, and we're going to store the value Charles Germany in it. And we'll just, you know, tell the client in their browser, hey, the client name's not been, you know, set yet. We're setting it now. We'll do the same thing with occupation. 
Again, remember the first time we load the page, this will be null, doesn't exist yet. So the if won't execute, the else block is what will execute. And thereby we will create the session variable occupation stored in the session array. It'll hold the value of adventurer. Okay, and once we do this, we're going to reload the page. And when we reload the page, instead of the else block being executed, the if block will be executed. And we'll get to read those values from the session array, the session variables, and you can hopefully see how they work. So let's pass that through the interpreter in our web browser. And again, notice the very first time we load the page, the else block is being executed. Client name has not been set yet, setting now. Client occupation has not been set yet, setting now. I'm going to click reload. Now the session variables have been created, so now the if block is being executed. Client name is Charles Germany. Client's occupation is adventurer.